In this lecture, we will do a problem on viscosity. The problem is, an infinite plate is moved over a second plate on a layer of fluid. For a small gap width, that is d is equal to 0.3 millimeter. We assume a linear velocity distribution in the liquid. The liquid velocity is 0 0.065 newton second per meter square and its specific gravity is 0 0.9. Lower plate is fixed and the upper plate is moving with a velocity of 0.3 meter per second. Determine first the kinematic viscosity of the liquid, shear stress on the upper plate in newton per meter square, the shear stress on the lower plate in Pascal, the direction of each shear stress calculated in parts B and C. So you can see uh, this plate A and plate B here. And the distance uh, between these plates is given as 0.3 millimeter. And the lower portion, the velocity is equal to zero. And the upper portion plates moves at a velocity of capital U that is given as 0.3 meter per second. And the liquid vis uh, viscosity is given as mu is equal to 0 0.065 newton second per meter square. And the specific gravity of the oil is 0.9. And the lower plate is fixed and the upper plate is moving with the velocity 0.3 meter per second. First, you need to find the kinematic viscosity of the oil. So, the kinematic viscosity of the oil, nu is given as mu by rho. The dynamic viscosity by density, that is the formula for that. So, the dynamic viscosity is given by point zero six five Newton second per meter square divided by. So, the density here is 900 because the specific gravity is given as 0 0.9 and density is specific gravity in 2000, that is 900. 7.22 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter square per second. So how will you find uh, the shear stress on the upper plate? So according to Newton's law of viscosity, you know tau is equal to mu into du by dy. Since it has got a linear velocity profile, you can write mu into delta u by delta y that is equal to mu is equal to 0 0.065 into uh, delta u that is the difference between velocity between the lower plate and the upper plate. So the lower plate velocity is 0 and the upper plate is moving with the velocity 0.3 meter per second. So that is equal to 0.3 minus 0 divided by delta u is the thickness of the film that is equal to 0.3 millimeter. 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 3. So that is equal to 65 newton per meter square. So you can see that, see in the lower portion of the plate, shear stress will be in this direction, will be in the opposing direction and the upper portion shear stress will be in this direction and this both, the magnitude of both the shear stress will be equal. So this is the shear stress in the lower plate and this is the shear stress in the upper plate. The directions are opposite. 